Today we reflect on the life of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Since the age of 4, she was brought up at the Wartburg Castle and educated at the Thuringian Court, one of the most magnificent and cultured of Germany at that time. Distinguished for her piety from early youth, Elizabeth pursued her devotions and active works of charity quite undeterred by the ridicule and rudeness of the frivolous courtiers. Characteristic of her humility was her refusal to wear her golden and bejeweled coronet in church. At the age of 14, Elizabeth was married to Louis, and their exemplary marriage was blessed with three children. Mortification, fasting, scourging, and prayer had a prominent place in her earnest striving for perfection, and Louis fully seconded his young wife's prodigal charities among the poor. and a loving personal care of the sick during the first year of their happy married life the franciscan friars arrived in germany and elizabeth became their first tertiary in 1227 while on his way to the sixth crusade louis suddenly died of the typhus leaving the young elizabeth rather heartbroken and defenseless with his brother henry assuming the regency elizabeth had no option but to seek refuge with her uncle Egbert the bishop of Bamberg who together with Mackeltide helped her regain her rights not long after elizabeth distributed much of her wealth among the poor and after safeguarding her children's rights and future retired to Marburg here she built a hospital in honor of saint francis where she personally tended the lepers Miracles of the spiritual and bodily healing attributed to her prayers were soon in evidence. Wine and bread too were miraculously multiplied at her intercession. Our Lady and our Lord also favored her with repeated apparitions. Elizabeth died on the 17th of November 1231, barely aged 24. The numerous miracles that occurred at her tomb led her to be canonized by Pope Gregory the 9th in 1235. Saint Elizabeth is hailed as the patroness of the Franciscan tertiaries and of bakers.